Thunder, 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 Thundercats, ho! my strength, my cunning. It is my equal in every way. Hello, Bots and Books fans. This is Scorp1701, and tonight we are going to be taking a look at the Super 7 Thundercats Ultimates Mirror Lion-O. Yes, another great Thundercat figure brought to us by the good people of Super 7, and I can't wait to take a look at this. But before I do, I just want to give you guys a heads up that at the end of this video, we will be doing a Lair Watch segment, and that is when we keep track of the awesome Cat's Lair that Super 7 is making for us. Now, we know that the Cat's Lair has been funded, and it did fund in time for everybody who early funded it to get the key of Thundera. But what about the other stretch goals? What about production? Well, I have some information about just those things, so stay tuned again after the video for Lair Watch. Now, jumping back into this awesome figure, the Mirror Lion-O comes in a nice cardboard box. You have Thundercats here, you have Lion-O, Mirror, you have Ages 14 at the bottom, you have Super 7. On the back of the box, you just have have some credits for the box and a barcode but this is just like a mailer box and it is to keep the awesome box safe and this is the awesome box that holds the figure and you can see it is very very nice it is black you have this awesome red foil double snake symbol for Mumra denoting that this is an evil mirror lino but aren't all mirror counterparts evil didn't Spock settle that for us <laughs> but anyway take a look at the box you have Thundercats here ages 14 plus super 7 lino mirror you have on the top of the box Ultimates on the bottom of the box you have credits for the box and a barcode and coming around to the back of the box you have the Thundercats logo Super 7 and contents one figure with accessories but it doesn't really get good until we unveil the figure himself so this is a slip cover and as we move the slip cover up we can see the awesome figure start to emerge and this is gonna be so cool wow look at this guy he is basically well why no but he's awesome red so i like it i love it so when you remove the slip cover you can see Mirror Lion-O in there with his accessories. Thundercats logo here, same name. At the top, you still have Thundercats Ultimates. Nothing changes on the bottom, but on the back of the box, you have an awesome picture of the Mirror lion -O, which is basically just lion -O painted in red. And we will zoom in and take a look at that. That is so nice. He looks so angry, grr. And as we scroll down, we can see the bio. I will zoom in there. You can pause the video, read that to your heart's content. But we must be moving backward and onward so wow that is really cool i love the super seven presentations they are always really nice but they are just presentations let's get him out of the box and see what he can do and here we have the mirror lion -Oh out of the box and out of the box he stands seven inches tall and he comes with a lot of accessories most of which we've seen before but there is a few minor details that are different and we'll take a look at that in just a moment but first off i want to take a look at this evil lord of the thundercats himself and coming real close in on evil mirror lion -O's head sculpt, we can see it is pretty much the same as all the other lion -O head sculpts. But this particular lion -O's hair is a lot more fire red than the original lion -O's hair head and we'll compare it in just a moment but you can see very nicely done a lot of locks it's the same mold and sculpts just the paint i believe is a little more vibrant here you got a nice stern face the eyes i believe are a little slanted here they just may be smaller the pupils from the original lino but the eyebrows are pretty much the same 
the mouth is the same with the two-tone coloring and if we zoom out just a little bit to take a look at his chest and torso now the mirror lino here is going to be red where everything on the original lino was blue now i talked to queen bravo about this and she said he doesn't look so much as red as maybe a burnt orange and i can kind of see that but if you look his main shirt color is a mix between orange and red i guess but the stripes around is definitely red his belt is red he has a very nice thundercat symbol here coming down to some nice red shorts arms pretty much the same the joints are now pinless and that is a big update because usually you'd have a pin right here in lionel's forearm but it is now removed and i think that is cool so coming down you also do not have any pins in the legs and he has some very pretty red boots with some white trim at the top and coming real close on the boot take a look at the boot it is really nicely done you have your regular orange but then it goes down into a darker wash and i think that is really cool zooming out we can bring in the other two linos that super 7 has given us here is the original here on the left and the one on the right is the latest Lion-O, which is the Comic-Con exclusive Hook Mountain, which is all blue because he's freezing. And I think this is really cool. These lion again, are all the same mold and sculpt for the most part. The last two here do not have the pinned joints. So comparatively, the colors are different. The peg on the side of lion waist, which holds the claw shield, is done a little more peg-like and the newer figures in here you had a little ball on the end and i don't know if that's good or bad i think it makes i think the more prominent peg makes the claw shield stick on there a little better but anyway turning around the figures to the backs just get a brief look at that nothing that you would not expect on the lion so yeah that is pretty cool all right, and that is what your lion -O is going to look like. Moving on. And for our articulation, it's not going to be anything we haven't seen before. Head can go around 360 degrees. It has some wiggle waggle. It can look up, it can look down, it can go left and right. So that is neat. Shoulders can come up from the body, then back down, then go around 360 degrees. You do have a bicep swivel, 360 degrees there elbow bend it is basically a single elbow bend and because of the muscles you do not actually get 90 degrees so that's kind of a bummer forearm rotation is used to be there yeah it's there it is just really really tight so you have to loosen that up a little bit to get it to move around but it's there and then you have your Wrist articulation, 360 degrees, and depending on which hand you have, it will either hinge up or down, or in and out. Coming to the center of the body, he does have a ab crunch. Here come down a little bit, it will bring him up a little bit, and that will go down into a waist articulation right above the belt, and that will take you around 360 degrees. Coming down to the legs, the legs can't go up that much. They can't go back that much. What you're going to get with these legs are out to the side a little bit, and that is pretty cool. They do have 360 degrees of thigh rotation coming down to a knee bend, single hinged, which isn't bad, I guess. And if you straighten this knee back up, you do get a rotation here 360 degrees and you would think that that is your boot cut but it is not you actually do have a secondary rotation right here at the boot and that will take you around 360 degrees and that will bring you down to the foot and the foot is on a hinge and it will go up and it will go back down a long way and it can rock around the world 360 degrees so that is pretty neat for your articulation all right moving on 
And for figure accessories, this Lino comes with four sets of hands. You have a closed fisted hand. You have a grabby pair of hands. You have two sets of weapon holding hands. And the difference between these are going to be where the hand hinges. The ones here hinge in and out from the wrist. And the ones here on the end hinge the wrist up and down it's kind of a neat little thing that super 7 did but i think if they go with the whole mcfarland thing and adjust the wrist joint then you can uh, save yourself a pair of hands because you'll be able to use the ball joint on the wrist to put them in any kind of way you want but that's just my opinion and those are going to be his alternate hands moving on and for Mirror Lionel's next accessory, he comes with an alternate head. Very, very angry alternate head. You see he's got his mouth open. You can see his teeth. Rawr! So that is pretty neat. Now this isn't the same head that came with the original Lino. The original Lino did have an angry head, as you can see here. But his teeth were gritted. So that's pretty neat. And speaking of the head sculpts for Lionel. What I want to try to do, why we have it here, is switch out the nice brighter red head sculpt for the original on the original body. So give me just a second and we'll see how that's going to look. Now here we have the two lion -O heads. The one on the right is the original lion -O head, whereas the one on the left is the evil mirror lion -O head that we're reviewing tonight. And you can definitely tell that the mirror lino's hair is the brighter red and it's got just the light wash whereas this one has a darker wash i always wanted to have a lino with the brighter red hair so i think the head on the left here would be the better fit for lino but the problem comes when you try to put the heads on the opposite bodies the original lino's neck is cut really high up and the ball joint just barely sticks out of there. Whereas the mirror lion nose neck is cut lower and gives you a higher ball joint. Now the original lion nose head made to compensate for the ball joint with this little molded circular piece. However, mirror lion nose head does not have that circular piece and it just goes up into a cavity, which is why it fits nicely on the longer neck joint if you try to switch out the heads the mirror lion -O head will sit too low on the original body whereas the original lion -O head will sit too high on the mirror body now if the mirror lion -O head was equipped with that circular thing that will would stop the uh, head from going down i think it would look fine but unfortunately it's not so the head swap on this isn't going to look that great which i think is a bummer because i would have really loved to have this brighter haired lino head all right moving on and for mirror lino's next accessories we're going to take a look at the claw shields now mirror lino does come with four claw shields Two we've seen before, and two are brand new molds. So, starting off with the first claw shield that we have seen before. This is your standard claw shield that Lionel will put on his hand. And the only difference in this and the original one that they gave us, this is obviously the slicker version, not the furry versions, is the paint on this is really nicely done. The original gave us gray this is beautiful silver paint and i really like that it gives it a more deluxe kind of feel or prestige kind of feel i guess and i think the uh, knuckle joints are done a little cleaner and the next claw shield we're going to take a look at is the one that hangs off of lion's belt and it's nicely done instead of the regular claw colored for the latch you get the silver there and that is nice and you also get silver claws here so that is good as well and yeah i i really like the silver i think it, it pops a little more than the regular gray 
The third claw shield in the first new mold is this fisted mold. And you still have the silver there, and I like this a lot. So Lionel could like be punching with the claw shield on, and I'm sure that's gonna hurt a lot more than just punching with his hand. So and the final claw shield that Mirror Lionel comes with is this nice done claw shield that is shooting out one of its claw grapnels and this is something that he would often use to you know grab onto something it would stick into walls and he could swing on it or pull himself up from falling and stuff so it was pretty neat and I am so happy to get one of these finally and if you want to measure this thing from the top of the finger all the way to the claw it is about six and a half inches so that is really cool and now i'm kind of wanting one with a string so i could like tie it and have him swinging i think that would be cool always wanting more <laughs> all right moving on and for Mirror Lionel's next accessory, he comes with the Short Sword of Omens. Now, if you're counting, and in the order that I have reviewed them, this will be the third Short Sword of Omens that we have gotten. But, in order of official release, this should have been the second. Now, obviously, the original came with Lionel, and it was just a regular gray short sword of omens. It didn't even have any color in the hilt, but uh, it was, for the time, a reasonable mold. But the second one here came out, and it was done in silver, and they put some paint in the hilt, and that was really neat. And then they reissued this for the San Diego Comic-Con Lionel on Hook Mountain, but they gave it a little bit of weathering. Literally, this is supposed to be snow on the tip of the short sword, and that is pretty neat. But uh, yeah, of all of them, I think this one looks the best. I just wish the eye was a little more like the original, which is a little thinner. But anyway, that is really cool and he could fight with this and he could put this in his claw shield as we've seen before and I think it's a really nicely done blade. Alright, moving on. And finally, Mirror Lionel comes with the awesome Sword of Omens in its long form. And I really love the way this sword looks. Now, counting with the Sword of Omens, is we've technically got five of them, if you want to count Bengali's Flaming Hot One, which I'm not really going to because that's not really a practical use to sword. But if we look at the ones that we've had in the line, the first one came with Lion-O, and it was okay, I guess. I didn't really like how this one was designed because it didn't have a very clear Thundercat symbol. So if I could scroll in there, you could see that it didn't really have the eye or the jaw picked out. It was just meh for what it was. But it was still a newer version than that had come with the Maddie Collector version. The second long sort of omens that we got, which was a better design, came with Jaga, and it had the better and clearer Thundercat symbol in the eye, which is really nice. But it was still done in like gray, so that wasn't too good. And then they gave us this one, which was done in silver. And finally, with the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, they gave us the silver sword, which had the frost wearing on the blade. So, yeah, these are two of the best, I think. But, obviously, you want to have the one without the wearing. So, this one is going to be the better of all the sort of omens that we got. Even though, I do got a little bit of scuff on this side. And when it came out of the package, it was kind of bent up here at the top but a little bit of uh straightening can get that right all right moving on and full comparison here you have mirror lion and regular lion o fighting which is what they did from the moment they met each other and full comparison here you have mirror lion o with the thundercats so i'm thinking lion o decided hey i do like the red duds so i'm gonna change them maybe it's christmas maybe it's valentine's day you know a new look never hurt anybody <laughs> And for comparison, here you have Mirror Lion-O fighting regular Lion-O again. 
And for comparison, here you have the Mirror lion -O with his true form of Mumra. Here you have Mirror lion -O and lion -O fighting again. <laughs> And finally, here you have Mirror lion -O leading the mutants, because maybe Mumra decided, you know what, I'm going to take lion -O's form forever and be the new leader of the mutants. Or maybe there was a transference like the old Negaduck thing and he became his own person. There's a lot of ways this could go. <laughs> and that's going to be your comparisons. Moving on. And this has been the Super 7 Thundercats Ultimates Mirror lion -O, the evil lion -O that Mumra turned himself into to fight the original lion -O in the episode Fond Memories. Now, taking a look at this figure, I really enjoyed it. I loved getting the updated figure to include the pinless joints, which is really good. I love the red costume. It was just one of those things I've always liked. Even though he was evil, I thought lion -O looked really good in all red. The updated weapons and the silver was beautiful. The new claw shields with the fist and the grapnel spike was awesome as well. So I can see a lot of exchanges that I'm going to make with this figure with the original lion -O weapons and such. I only wish that I could have been able to change out the head because I really think the bright red hair on this guy is better than the not so bright red on the original lion -O. So I think at some point Super 7 should update lion -O, send him out again, and maybe brighter colors or something. The original lion -O is great. I love the sculpt and mold. I mean, it worked great for Mattel when they put it out. But, I don't know, the more we're getting into this, I think it could have a more cartoon aesthetic to it. But, that's just my opinion. Now, Mirror Lion-O came out in Wave 5, so he may be a little tricky to get. But, if you are looking for him, try your online retailers and he will go anywhere from $55 to $60. So, if you're looking for him, happy hunting. So that's it, guys. That is going to be the review. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you got time, stay tuned for Lair Watch right after this video. But if not, until next time, keep playing. Hello, Bots and Books fans. This is Scorp1701, and welcome to another episode of Lair Watch. The segment where we take a look at the Super 7's progress on bringing us the huge cat's lair, home of the ultimate Thundercats. This has been such a tremendous undertaking. I am so excited to see how we are going to end out. Now, I am recording this on Sunday, September 3rd, 2023. And as of right now, we have 14 days left in this massive campaign. Now, I am pleased to say that we have already ensured that the Cat's Lair is funded and will be moving into production. And we did it in enough time so that everyone who backed it in the time frame could get the early bird special of the key to thundera yes an actual replica of the key that unlocked the book of omens in the series but there is still two weeks to go and we can do a lot more so currently we are sitting at 3,309 backers, and what we are going to be moving towards now are the stretch goals. At 4,000 backers, we will unlock the tier 1 stretch goal, which is the awesome lab set and sort of omens with claw shield, which would be great in the armory. And I really think we're going to get to 4,000, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. Usually when these things near the end of their run, there's a big boost and of course, if we get to 5,000 backers, we will get the Astral lion -O, and that is the lion -O made of clear plastic. He also comes with the Sword of Omens and a Claw Shield, and that would be cool to have, but not as much as, I think, the Lab Set. So I think it was smart that they put the Lab Set first. So that is what we are going to be pushing for. So if this is something that you're interested in, and this is the first time you're hearing about it because you've lived under your rock, I'll let you know and remind everybody else that this place has 
it is just huge okay it is going to be 36.7 inches tall which is over three feet it is 29.3 inches wide which is 2.4 feet across until you open it up completely and then you got 53 inches wide which is 4.4 feet so this is going to take up a lot of space it has great playability on both sides the outside and the inside movable parts light up features it's going to be great so getting a first look of it it was revealed at san diego comic con and it was the talk of the convention everybody went to take a look at it even brian flynn the owner of super 7 was there for its unveiling and it was just a massive hit now this was the master prototype which means that this is what all the others are going to be based on so they have released pictures of the factory grayscale that needs to be painted and it also looks like it is going to be put out in a plethora of pieces in which we will have to assemble it and that's good because that means it's not going to come in a completely really ridiculous huge box i mean the box is still going to be huge no doubt about it but it's not going to be eight foot wide for the the shipping so it looks like it's going to be really fun if not a challenge to put this thing together but i can't wait so that's all the news i have for cat slayer at this moment if you're interested in this project please back it time is running out we do have about two weeks left to get as many of these backed as we possibly can. $650, it is a lot. Remember, you could go through Shop Pay and that will give you some payment plans if the whole $650 isn't to your liking or availability right now. So good luck with it. As we come into the final two weeks, I think it's going to be exciting to see how fast this continues to grow. It's estimated to be shipping out in October of 2024 after all the production is finished. So guys, that's it. That is the update for the Cat's Lair. And stay tuned to this channel for more updates as they become available. All right, guys, have a great night. And until next time, keep playing.